It's Wednesday, September the 9th, I believe it is. It's got about 15 minutes till nine. I'm here at Carver's Gap. I'm going to uh, uh, do a uh, two night, three day backpacking trip from Carver's Gap here to 19E at Mel uh, Elk Park. I'm just gonna take my time, take in the views. Right now, as you can see, it's socked in, but uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to taking my time on this trail and taking in some of the most magnificent views on the Appalachian Trail in North Carolina. Trail's beautiful through here.
All right, the fog's lifted some. We're at the base of Little Hump. And just like that, clouds and the rain move back in. But it's still beautiful. Well, made it to the top of Little Hump. If it clears up tonight, I might try to come back here and lay out and look at the stars. It's a beautiful spot up here. I saw a camping spot that I could have made work for a hammock, but it's awfully exposed up here. And in this weather, I'm not sure that's a good idea. As I speak, um, Little hump, or big hump, comes into view. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna stop at the first campsite that we see that'll work. So it rained most of the day, and we're having an early dinner. Mountain House beef stroganoff with noodles. And the reason we're eating early is I tried to light my stove. It's an alcohol stove. And the uh, big lighter that I had, I guess, got wet. The flint got wet. Maybe you can hear it. It's, it's raining now again. Anyway, I couldn't... Uh, couldn't light my stove, thought I was going to have to go without dinner tonight, and a couple of hikers from Charleston happened to come by, and I asked if they had a lighter, and they said yeah, so they came down to lit my stove for me, and we were able to boil some water and have something to eat here, but uh, it's been a great day, I don't care if it is raining, uh, there's other things that the trail has to offer besides views. It's been a great day. Well, I had <clears throat> an early dinner. It's about 5 p.m. I'm relaxing in the hammock. Maybe you can hear the rain. But we're high and dry. And, uh, just enjoying the weather whatever it throws at us as long as it's not wind wind i can i can do without rain i can handle and uh, even cold i can handle got the right equipment for that wind i don't i don't look forward to but um we're camped just before we got to the big hump and uh Tomorrow we'll, we'll camp at Daw Flats. It'll be a, a short day, so I'm gonna do some exploring up around uh, Big Hump. And uh, as I said earlier, we're just, or I'm just taking my time and enjoying whatever. <clears throat> this is hump and it's uh, fogged in or clouded in up at the top but uh, visibility is much better today than it was yesterday so uh, hopefully it'll it'll move out by the time I get to the top we'll get some views
little hump and then uh, can't quite see the the peaks and the balls of the rhone the very top is shrouded in clouds right now Well, I'm back home. Um, you'll notice that uh, one of the last pictures I did was of Doll Flats and uh, leaving North Carolina on the trail. Uh, that's where I was planning on camping tonight. Just as I got there, the sky just opened up and it started pouring the rain. And I got soaked to the bone. And Got out my rain jacket and everything, but it it was still my feet were were soaked and my pants were soaked and I'm thinking you know I'm not going to set up again tonight in the rain, so I call my wife and ask her if she'd come and get me and I'd just walk on out. So that's what I ended up doing, but still it was a it was a great trip. Um, I'm pretty tired, um, chilled. Just had a hot shower and and a nice meal, and uh, I, I feel good. Feel good about the trip, even though the visibility wasn't the best. Um, got lots of pictures of wildflowers, and had had a really good time. Really good time, and uh, um, but it's good to be home, and it's good to be dry and clean, and uh, looking forward to getting a good night's rest.